thanks, Pete. Hello again. Well, it's the Players Association's Night of Nights here at the Docklands, but coming up after the break, the Magpies wield the axe. Didac among those to be shown the door. Also, no pussy footing around. The Cats to spring a bit of a surprise. And Nadal's $4 million payday in New York. Pay your way out of jail. How wealthy Aussie lawbreakers are buying freedom while everyone else has to stay behind bars. A current affair next. At The Good Guys, get 50 months interest-free finance on TV purchases over $1,250. That's 50 months interest-free finance with minimum monthly payments. So hurry in-store for this limited offer. Available in-store only at The Good Guys. Why? Why? Hey, Dave. Ah! Man, I hate it when you just appear like that. A trillion pardons, Dave. What's up? This car insurance renewal, that's what's up. Well, I switched to Budget Direct, got a 10% online discount, and saved hundreds of your Earth dollars. Really? Customers told us they saved on average $238 when they switched to Budget Direct's award-winning car insurance. Get smart. Get direct. Budget Direct. Dave! Uh -huh. Smarter deal. Right now at Subaru, we're running out selected 2013 Forester Demonstrator models with registration, CTP and stamp duty. Plus, with exceptional savings, it's the perfect time to drive away in a Subaru. Hurry into one of your big five Subaru Melbourne retailers. Drive straight into your next holiday with Spirit of Tasmania. Travel on a double deal and you can take yourself from just $84 each way and take your car from an extra $84 each way. For travel between October 21 and December 20. So book online today and start your holiday on Spirit of Tasmania. savings with up to 50% off everything at Beacon Lighting. Everything for every room. Indoor, outdoor, bath, everything up to 50% off. Hurry in before everything goes. Look at you. Do you, Tiger, you. Uh-oh, game time. You are looking good, Debbie. Well, you've earned me. Look how cute I am. Yoo-hoo! Over here, everybody loves me. Tell them, Swiss. That... Does it? Hey, Debbie, remember your fifth birthday? We got that puppy. Ugh. With 60% less carbs per serve than most bread, Cruskets can keep you on track to feeling lighter. Carbs don't fight fair. Fight back with Cruskets. The fake double eviction will send the housemates into a nominations frenzy. Bring it on. Big Brother, tonight at 7 on 9. This sports report brought to you by Sportsbet's Money Back Specials. Bet now at sportsbet.com.au. Find them in the App Store. Well, Collingwood, there was always going to be a nasty aftermath, wasn't there, to that elimination final loss at the weekend. And indeed, that is exactly what played out at the Westpac Centre today, with no less than six of those magpies being shown the door. Among them, Alan Didak, who's determined to keep playing at senior level. More from Clint Stanaway. Their season shot, Collingwood Spring Clean, is underway. For a second straight day, players rolled into the Westpac Centre for a series of meetings. Jesus, you guys are funny. But for six of his teammates, it's no laughing matter. Among those delisted, a trio of favourites. After 13 seasons in black and white, Alan Didak has been axed. At 31, Darren Jolly will undertake a search for his fourth club. And with 137 games, 35 of them with the pies under his belt, Andrew Cracker's time is up. And it's always you know, sad to, to see people go, but uh, I think as a club, you know, we've got to make sure we keep moving forward and we've just got to change and find a way to get better. And I'm not sure what the, the magic formula is. It's, it's usually hard work. In Geelong, Chris Scott is confident his cats still have what it takes to win the flag. We're still in a, in a very nice position. But Tom Hawkins is still causing concerns. His fitness fight to go right down to the wire. Hawkins will almost certainly be named in the selected side, but should he again fail at the last minute, the coach has no fear blooding a debutante. In this case, Shane Kirsten. Should it happen, he'd become the first Cats player in 75 years to do so in a final. Yeah, it'd be bold, but I kind of like that. I kind of like that. And they're a tight bunch at Carlton. The Blues soothing some sore spots with a dip in the bay ahead of their trip to Sydney. We love to travel. We Travelling doesn't bring any sort of... Uh 
uh, added, added pressure to us. So we're just looking forward to it and looking forward to getting out there in another final. Brock McLean and Matthew Cruiser weren't there and are battling to be fit, but both are likely to take some part in tomorrow's main session. Clint Stanaway, Nine News. Well, no less than 160 of the AFL's elite are gathering here at the Docklands for the AFL Players Association's Night of Nights. This is where they actually crown this year's MVP. Now, in the eyes of some, the MVP is more valuable and prestigious than the Brownlow, given that whoever wins it tonight will have been judged by his peers as opposed to the umpires. And one man who might just be in with a, a sneaky chance is Adelaide superstar Paddy Dangerfield. Big night, Paddy. Who's your tip for the big one? It is a big night. Uh, I think Gary Ablett's had an outstanding year. Uh, he continues to set the benchmark for the competition and I think he's our version of Michael Jordan. He's, he's just been unbelievable. You're downplaying your own chances there. There are a few whispers around. No, I don't think so. I think Scott Pendlebury uh, has had a great year as well and, and, and obviously Roughhead. But I think Gaz is just, by far and behold, the best player in the competition. It's not funny. Now, just quickly, you're a Geelong boy. You live in Adelaide. Friday night, one word, who are you tipping? I think Geelong. I think uh, their best can beat absolutely anyone, but I think the belief that Port Adelaide, Port Adelaide Footy Club has at the moment, um, if they start well, anything can happen. Good luck, mate. Thanks. Well, now to the tennis, and Rafael Nadal is tonight $3.9 million richer, can you believe that, just for taking out the final of the US Open. Now, after dropping the second set to Novak Djokovic, the Spaniard seized control to claim his 13th Grand Slam crown. The pair provided the crowd with some blistering tennis. I mean, have a look at this point. Nadal made pretty short work of the fourth set to seal his second open title. The emotion of the moment almost reducing him to tears. It really was a great effort, wasn't it, considering a knee injury less than a year ago threatened his career. Now, at baseball matches in America, it's a big thing for the crowd to try and catch a fly ball. Look at this fella's effort here. It was the match between Arizona and San Francisco. The spectator took it to a whole new level, catching the ball while still holding his baby and the nappy bag. That's good parenting. Barely hanging on to the kid. <laughs> He's got the ball, though. A good thing he caught it, because there's every chance Dad might have spat the dummy. And, Pete, uh, just to cap it off, how good would it have been if the baby's name was Ruth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful, Tony. Thank you.